Zamisliti jednu malu mrvicu koja je otišla tamo. Kao da je pala se ne. The documentary was made about you, right? Yelena's world. And when it opened in Serbia, it knocked James Bond, Quantum of Solace, off the, off the top spot. <laughs> what do you make of your celebrity status back home? Oh, it's unbelievable how, uh, how popular tennis is uh, at the moment in Serbia. It's really huge and people are following that sport and uh, waking up at three in the morning to watch us play, you know, that just shows, you know, how enthusiastic and how people really support and uh, appreciate uh, what we have achieved. Um, and it's amazing, you know, I have done that documentary movie and uh, to bring it to Serbia and to show people what my life is like on tour, what what I'm like as a person, you because know, many people see me on the tennis court when I'm fighting, when I'm, you know, playing my matches and they don't know um, the real uh, girl that hides beside, uh, behind me. So it's, it's uh, interesting to, to show it to, to the fans, to the people in, in Serbia. And um, it did quite well, you know, it was, uh, many people liked it and I'm, I'm happy about that. A camera had to follow you and your every single move for a year for that documentary. <laughs> Didn't it get annoying after a while? Yeah, to be honest, uh, it's not easy having cameras around you, um, you know, through most of the day. But, um, you know, I had my uh, time when I said I, I'm not really willing to uh, have any cameras around me. I want some uh, time for myself. You know, I want I want some peace. And uh, it's, it's not so easy, you know, because uh, especially when you're playing, when you're in tournaments, you want to be focused on, on your job. But... And I agreed to do that documentary movie as long as it didn't bother me, it didn't distract me uh, from, my, from my job. You competed in the 2008 Olympics in Beijing and that's where you met your boyfriend, um, who is a professional water polo player, I believe. With your schedule and his schedule, how do you get the time to just hang out <laughs> and be together? Uh, to be honest, uh we spend most of the you know time on on the phone and <laughs> talking to each other when we are when of course when i'm on the road and when he's uh, on the road as well um when i come home you know in serbia he flies you know from montenegro he flies to see me and we just spent new years together we went to vacation after my you know, after the the championships um we try really our best to to find the time to to be with each other but you know it's it's very hard because um, this is our this is my job and my job requires so much traveling and it's difficult you know to to be in a you know in a normal relationship so it has to be you know long distance relationships but in order to to have it successful you need to really have a respect for each other and really understand you know each other's jobs and uh, support support each other to so that we can you know go go a long way your mother you are extremely close to um, and she is frequently seen at your matches how important is her presence at those games for you yes my mom is my biggest uh, supporter and she has been uh, with me through the good and the bad times. I love having her with me in the tournaments. She gives me um, this kind of positive energy when I'm playing. I just have to look at her and I just feel um, that confidence, you know, the, the belief that she has in me when, I, when I'm playing those matches. Your parents are both economists and you also studied economics. Do you ever see a day where you put down the tennis racket for good and pick up a calculator? Actually, to be honest, uh, my parents are economists and uh, my brother, my older brother as well, but um, I'm as well in the university and in the you know, first two years I have different subjects and I don't really want to go uh, into that, that direction and I don't want to be an, an economist. It's not something that really attracts me and something that I would like to do after I finish my tennis career. Um, I'm more... Um, attracted to, to show business, to, I, I love acting, I love fashion, 
um, I don't know, I, I would even like to be a host one day. Who knows, you know, I have so many ideas in my head, you know, that I would love to do. When you go back to Serbia, what do your old friends tell you about how they feel looking at everything that you've achieved? Oh my God, you know, uh, to be honest, I, have, I still have the same friends I had when I was a, a, a young girl, you know, since I, you know, I was in elementary school. And this is amazing. Uh, I believe I, I haven't changed a bit and they tell me the same thing and that's what they love about me, I guess. Um, and we just have fun with each other and they're, they're really proud of what uh, I have done. But when we are together, when we are, you know, when I'm with my friends, when I come back home, we don't really talk about uh, my success and we don't really talk about tennis. We're just, you know, normal uh, girls or, or guys <laughs> and we talk, uh, you know, about other, other things. You know, I, I'm not a person who likes to talk about my job or about what I have achieved. You know, I'm just, uh, as soon as I step off the court, I don't really look at myself as a tennis player. I'm just a normal girl. I put normal clothes and enjoy <laughs> it and, you know, just, you know, have a good time. I, I like to really enjoy my life and make the most of it. Yelena, thank you very much indeed for spending time with us today. Thank I very you. much appreciate it.